So um, I would like to present you some of my work of, uh, about uh, Milnovich shapes and modules. So um, I will start uh, in the first part, uh, I will start with modules. And then in the second part, I will uh, uh, explain a bit more about uh, shaves and especially transfers if I have enough time. Um, so the goal is the, the following. I would like to study shaves. And um, so obviously I'm going to add more uh, assumption on this. So I study Disneyvich shifts. Uh, of abelian groups. On the category of smooth schemes. So for the rest of the talk, uh, I will fix K a perfect base field. Um, in the second part, maybe I would need sometimes to assume that K is of characteristic not true, or maybe I assume that K is uh, infinite, uh, but well, uh, I should I hope to get rid of this assumption one day. And uh, well, also what I'm going to, to do in the part one, uh, I hope in the future, it should work on some more generic base scheme S, but for now I work over a perfect field K. So I would like to study Nisnevich shifts or abelian groups on uh, the smooth schemes. Uh, and moreover, obviously I'm doing A1 homotopy, so I would like some A1 invariance property. So something like this. I think you all know what I mean. For any smooth skins. And uh, well, moreover, I uh, also need to add some more assumption, especially if I work with the uh, shifts. Um, I would like to study strictly or strongly uh, a one invariant shifts. So, well, the idea is simply recall the definition is that uh, the Nisnevich cohomology of any smooth scheme X is well a one invariant again. Uh, again, I think this this is well known. And since I work with abelian groups, I don't need to. So this is for i equals to zero and one or any uh, natural number. Uh, these two definitions are equivalent uh, thanks to the work of Morel uh, and because we work with abelian groups. So mainly it, it is because while well, Morel construct a complex that he called that we called the Rushfield complex and uh, I will speak a bit about it uh, a bit later and Morel proved that the Rushfield complex computes in some sense the Disneyvich cohomology and uh, uh, again, prove that it is a one invariant in some sense. So that's basically how you prove that these two uh, strictly and strongly a one invariant are, well, these two properties are equivalent. And for the first part, I will speak about modules. So, uh, so basically, I work with Z gridded. Uh, homotopy shifts, so plus uh, some isomorphism, but 
for now, I don't, I don't want to to draw you into definition. So this, this is what I call homotopy module. And uh, and I will denote uh, this category like this. So it is the category of a uh, homotopy modules. And uh, well, we can prove that this is equivalent to the heart um, of this table homotopy category SH uh, for the homotopy T structure. That's actually really important for the talk, but um, so my goal is to study such shifts and I would like to, to have a description of these categories. Um, so I do have uh, a partial result, an old result uh, by Diglis from almost two decades uh, ago. So the category of homotopy modules with transfers. So what I mean, so in the second part, I will explain what I mean by transfers, uh, et cetera. But just for now, I will, uh, just for the introduction, I will let, sure. give, yes. Sorry. No, no, it's OK. OK. So he just uh, joined, and his mic was not turned off. OK, sorry. So what I mean by transfers, just for this, this theorem, it is the Wojcicki transfers right here. And Degliz proved that uh, this category, uh, we do have a nice description of this category, thanks to uh, the uh, rust cycle modules. Um, so let me explain what I mean by Ross cycle module. So um, this was defined uh, in the 90s by Rust. Um, uh, or so by definition, uh, a cycle module well, over or, or over K. So this is a, a functor defined over the category of um, fields over K, finitely generated field, fields over K. So this is, um, uh, this is given by, so we have a Z gridded abelian group for any uh, field over K. Uh, and this is a functor, so we have four kind of different data. D1 is we have uh, restriction maps. So every time, uh, so we have, well, a maps that goes into the, the right way, if, I'm, if I can say, for any field extension, uh, extension like this. Uh, 
We have core restriction maps. So these are maps that go into the wrong way, if I may, for any finite extension. There is an action. Um, so we have a structure of a um, Milner uh, theory. And uh, so KM is just the classical Milner K theory. And lastly, we have uh, residue maps. So for me, every, every time I have a evaluation of where I failed, uh, I have a, a residue map like this. It's for any discrete variation. Plus we have a dozen, dozen of axioms that basically say that uh, they are, are natural and uh, D1 commutes with D2 and D3 and D4, and it works well together. But what is nice is, is that, uh, well, for me, a, a functor defined over the category of fields is much more simpler than uh, a homotopy modules. So much simpler than a, a functor defined over the category of smooth schemes. And since we have a precise, a finite number of axioms and not so many, uh, it is uh, a bit easier to compute uh, with this um, circular modules instead of homotopy modules. So historically, uh, so, so this is the definition of Rust in the 90s. So this was used by Rust because he wanted to to define a motive uh, that we call the, the Rush motive of a Pfister form. And uh, this was used because, uh, so this was used in the, in the proof of Milner conjecture by Wojcicki uh, a bit later. So this is an, a nice uh, axiomatization. So for instance, Well, obviously, by definition, uh, the Milner K theory uh, defines a uh, cycle modules. A Rust cycle module. And uh, well, also Rust proved that uh, Quillem K theory and uh, et al. cohomology. Well, these two define uh, Rust cycle modules. And uh, well, basically the, the idea is to, uh, to have a, a theory that encompass uh, this, uh, this three theory. And uh, so like I said, uh, Degley's proved that the category of Rust cycle modules is equivalent to the category of uh, homotopy modules with uh, transfers, with uh, uh, Wojcicki transfers. So the question is, um, I would like a similar description of the category of the homotopy module. Um, but without transfers, obviously. And so I would like to define a new category of a circular module um, 
that should uh, be equivalent to this new category. So um, I'm going to recall maybe some definition. Uh, please uh, tell me, do I need to recall the definition of Milnovich category or is it okay for everyone? No, I think it is okay to use it. It's okay, okay. Uh, well, for the viewers, uh, just there is some K theory, Milnovich K theory, and um, this was developed by Morel uh, two decades ago. And uh, the idea is to to have a theory that behaves like uh, Milnovich K theory in degree in positive degrees. And uh, it behaves like uh, we have uh, quadratic the quadratic forms um, in degree zero and uh, in uh, negative degrees. So. Um, okay, so uh, I can define the, the definition of uh, a psychology module. So just one thing that uh, is important for me. Uh, so for Milner theory, we have residue maps for, so for a valuation field F. So we know that we, we have a map sorry from Milnovich K theory of F to the residual field. So if you want to define this, this is the same definition that we have for Milnor K theory. It is of de degree minus one. And uh, so as you may know, if you, so in order to define this, you may choose a prime pi and uh, you can define this map. And if you want to have a very nice canonical map, you need to twist your map um, like this. So this is a free abelian group uh, generated by the uh, non-zero element of uh, kappa v. And uh, you twist by a line bundle uh, that um, and have the, the, the information about the prime. And so this map is well-defined and uh, well, Canonical. So, if you want to define a, a, a new a new object, so a new category of um, cycle modules, you need to, to take into account that uh, we have twists. So I get this definition. So this is what I call a Milnovich cycle module. So this is given by um, so first we have a twisted abelian group so this is just uh, an abelian group so sorry This is an abelian group.
for any field E of OK. And uh, well, I say twisted because I need to. So this is a functor, but not defined just on the category of fields of OK, but defined on the category of couple uh, E and uh, VE when the VE is a, a virtual vector bundle. Or vector space over over E. Um, so just for the viewers, uh, if you don't know what a virtual vector space is, uh, basically you can imagine that this is just given by an integer and a, a line. Okay, uh, because we work about uh, over the category of uh, a field. So these two categories, so this is what we call sometimes uh, graded line bundle, graded line spaces. Uh, this category uh, is equivalent to the category of virtual vector spaces over E. Um, but in general, if you work over a more general basis, uh, this is not true. So for my talk, well, this is not really important, but I do find that virtual vector space uh, spaces are, well, it's a bit prettier than uh, graded line bundle, but this is a equivalent. And uh, well, again, in general, by a virtual vector space, you mean a point on K theory space, something like that. Yeah, if you want. Uh, yeah, so this is defined by uh, by Delin in the 80s, and uh, we have a nice uh, universal property. So yeah, this is uh, formal sums of uh, yeah, yeah. vector spaces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a functor. So again, uh, we have restriction maps. Sorry, another question. Uh, what are the functors? I mean, what are the morphisms between such pairs? Uh, the two versions. I mean, um, so uh, a pair. Uh, in field extension and isomorphism? Or yeah, so, so, like yeah I, I mean, yeah. So this is a field extension, and you consider an isomorphism. Okay, yeah. thank you. Between E and F. Yeah, the, the obvious thing. So, so we need a, a functor. So this is functorial. For restriction, so this is nice. There is not not much to say about this map, uh, but the co-restriction maps are maybe uh, uh, better. So this is for any field extension and any. Uh, is a space vector virtual vector space over f and if you consider a finite uh, field extension then you need to twist in some way or uh, the functor if you want to have a, a nice uh, functorial map Um, so for any finite extension. So is the relation between VF and VE in the last? Yeah, again, uh, this notation just mean, I, I mean, every time I, I say VF, I mean the pullback uh, okay. by the obvious map. Yeah, this is just a notation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
Yeah, so we do need to twist by here. This is the, the color differential space, but yeah, more generally, we need to, to twist by line bundles and Cotillion uh, uh, complexes. And we have an axiom that says that this map uh, is functorial in, uh, in some way. So for Ross second modules, we had an action of uh, the classical Milner K theory. And uh, in this case, we have an action. So we have a structure of uh, Milner Witt K theory. And uh, finally, uh, for any variation, So that's why I gave the example of Milner Witt K theory. Uh, we have the same kind of residue maps. Into the residue field. Here. And uh, plus, we have a bunch of axioms that say that again. So this is what I call um, D1, D2, and D3, D4. And uh, we have a dozen of axioms, a bit like uh, the classical rush cycle modules. Uh, I do need to, to add another axiom that um, that work with the virtual vector uh, spaces. Um, so yeah, the idea is just to, to twist everything and to hope for the best. So for instance, uh, you can prove that, uh, well, Milnovitka theory is a Milnovitka cycle module. And uh, so a bit later, we'll see maybe other examples. So we have, so for instance, uh, we know that emission K theory is representable in the uh, stable homotopy category. So we do have uh, a, a structure of cycle module on, on this. Same for the bit groups. And uh, so basically, I want to prove that this category is equivalent to the homotopy modules. So this gave a, a bunch of example. All right, so, well, I would like to prove that uh, the category of uh, Milnovich cycle modules is equivalent to the category of uh, homotopy uh, modules. So I don't have the time to, to give all the details, but I will give you some construction uh, that should point towards the, the proof. So the first construction that we would like to uh, to to have is well uh, we have this uh, so if you consider m a Milnovit cycle modules uh, we have a Rushmid complex. So the definition is a bit well known, I guess. It is mostly the same as always. But we do need to consider the twist here. So the idea, so 
Rust uh, define a complex like this for cycle modules, and you can simply expand the definition for uh, Milnovich cycle modules, uh, taking into account that we have twists here, and it's a bit much, uh, a bit more complicated. But if you are careful, it's going to be all right. And so, for instance, uh, we have um, so we and we have pullbacks. So simply, if you want to, if you have a map from X to Y and you want to define, so assume that, so smooth pullback. And uh, if you want to define a map between uh, such complexes, you have to, you can define it term, term by term. And uh, basically, locally, the map will look like, uh, so, we can use the co-restriction. So locally, this will look like something like this when it makes sense. Uh, sorry, the restriction. And for the, we also have push forwards for propermorphism. And this time locally, this will, you can use the, uh, the co-restrictions. And since we have an action of Milnovich theory on M, so term by terms, we can define a, an action on uh, the complex here. And also, so we have, uh, well, we have residue maps or boundary maps uh, on this complex. So let me give you uh, other properties. So like I said, the, the purpose is to prove that uh, Milnovich cycle modules uh, are uh, equivalent to homotopy modules. So obviously, I do need to have some kind of uh, a one invariance property. So you can prove it. So again, M is a Milnovich cycle module. And uh, so when I, I say uh, A, I mean the cohomology in degree P of the rush cycle module. And uh, you can prove that So you have to be careful with the, the twist, but it should be OK. Um, so I did not give you the, sorry. Yeah, I just want to ask what is this minus L? Yeah, so this is a twist. Uh, so Rigozo, so this is the Kutalin complex uh, for the uh, for the map, the prediction map from A1x to, to x. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah, this is a bit ugly. Uh, we, so basically we would like something like just M x isomorphic to m a one x but here we have twist and this is a bit ugly of notation but uh, this is just notation I mean I, I could have lied to you and put another notation and uh, and and make I mean you cannot uh, this means exactly that uh, the 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 cohomology is a one invariant 
And uh, this is just because of convention that you do have this ugly twist here, but this is not really important for for the for the property. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. Um, so I did not give you the I did not give you the the axioms the uh, the real definition of what I mean by Milnovich cycle module. So maybe this uh, you don't know uh, if this is trivial or not. So I can say that in the definition of uh, Milnovich cycle module, uh, we do not have uh, explicit axiom that uh, tells you that we have a one invariance. So basically, if you consider X to be the specter, so for the proof, so first you consider the the case when X is the specter of a of a field, and even in this case, uh, this is not trivial because of the axioms of the definition of uh, uh, Milnovich cycle module. And uh, if you want to prove it, uh, this is because uh, we have, uh, so thanks to the correct friction, and uh, so this is what I call D2 uh, and uh, the residue map D4. And we have compatibility between these two, and uh, that's how you can define that. Uh, you can prove that you you do have this property for um, for just fields. And then, if if you want to extend the the proof to any uh, to any schemes, uh, you need there is there are several approach. But uh, for instance, um, so in his original paper, uh, Rust used a a spectral sequence to prove that. Uh, so you use a spectral sequence, and you can do an Noetherian addiction to extend the result. So, um, well, I could not work out the, the proof of Rust for Milnovich cycle modules because of the twist, but uh, I did use another kind of spectral sequence that we call the Conivo spectral sequence. I know some of you know what I say. And um, so you can use a spectral sequence to extend the result to any, uh, to any scheme. And there are there is another another proof of this. So this is proof one, and there is a proof number two. So basically, you would like to construct a homotopy on the complex level, and this is a bit more technical, but well, this is this is doable. All right. So now, uh, in the future, I will look at. Um, so if I consider M a uh, Milnovich second module, I can look at this group uh, in cohomology degree zero, uh, and this will define in the future a, a homotopy module. So another property uh, there is. a long exact sequence. So if you consider a, a close up scan and you the complementary, so let's call it I,
So I guess nowadays this kind of long exact sequence are well well known. Um, but historically, uh, this was one of the reason reasons why Rust uh, defined his his theory of uh, cycle module. Um, so historically, if you consider uh, M equal to B, the K, uh, the, the Milner K theory, uh, you obtain the classical Chow group, Chow groups here and, uh, and, uh, and here. And this is a subjective map. Uh, and so basically, uh, you would like to uh, extend this map uh, on the left. And, um, but on the left, you do not have Chow groups. So in the 90s, Rust uh, defined the cycle modules because he wanted to, to do some computation. And that's how he came to the idea to define the what we call now the Rust uh, complex. And uh, you can compute. Uh, we have nice computation with this uh, sequence. And uh, we had the same problem for uh, from Chowvit groups. So I forgot to say, but um, if I consider M to be the Milnovich theory, so if uh, then uh, we recover. Uh, so if you can. Uh, the Rushbit complex is the Rushbit complex defined by Morel and well Schrost and Schmidt. And if I consider the the homology, then uh, we have the uh, the Chovich groups. Of X. Um, all right. Again, this is not really important for the for the equivalence, but we have a Gerstein property. For say um, x moves local integral and p greater than zero, then the cohomology is going to be zero. And uh, so what's important for the equivalence is that we need to, to have, uh, well, functionality. So we need pullbacks. And like I said before, I do have pullbacks on the complex level and on the uh, uh, cohomology level, but uh, just only for smooth maps. And so I need to extend this definition to any for more general maps. So, so in the future, uh, I will consider X and Y uh, two uh, smooth morphism, uh, two smooth schemes. And a map like this, and you can always factor such map like that. And so this is uh, a, a smooth projection and a, uh, a, a regular immersion. So more generally, uh, I will consider F uh, a local complete intersection uh, map. So you have a factorization like this into some projective space like that. And uh, in this case, you can prove that uh, we do have pullbacks to 
So we do have a pullback map. like this. So again, if you want to prove this, um, well, the first case, if, uh, so if F is smooth, then it's okay. And uh, so then you you want to you want to look uh, so you can factor f like a um, regular emotion followed by uh, a smooth prediction. And uh, so when f is smooth, it's okay, and you have to prove that it is true for regular emotion, and then you have to glue things together. So. The case of a regular emotion so if you want to prove this um, I think this is well known uh, this was I mean this was uh, used by Fulton uh, in his uh, in book Interse intersection theory uh, theory and uh, so the, the technique is called deformation to the normal cone so if you consider a, an immersion like this, um, I. So the idea is to you can define the the pullback like this. So. You have a prediction map that goes uh, that projects from uh, x uh, times gm to to x. So on the complex level, you you have a a pullback like this. So this notation means that I work on the complex level. So this just means. C x and v here but just for the idea i will uh, skip the notation and um, so if you fix a parameter of a1 uh, like i said we have an action of milnovitka theory on uh, the complex level so you can multiply by t and uh, then uh, use the boundary map uh, into uh, Sorry. Into the normal cone of X, and then you you can use uh, a one invariance to have a map to Z, and this map here. 
by definition is the pullback of the regular emotion. All right. Okay, so we have an equivalence of category between um, the category of homotopy modules over K and the category of uh, Mean of it, second modules like this. So I don't have the time to, to give you uh, more details, but basically, you if you consider M a mean of it, second module, you can uh, consider its uh, Rushmid complex and then the uh, cohomology in degree zero, and it will define uh, a homotopy module. And reciprocally, you, you have to consider uh, HM. Uh, M element in the homotopy module, and you have to uh, to check that it is indeed a second module. So there is there are a bunch of axioms to to prove. And uh, but this is the way more. Uh, some application to this theorem. So originally, this was one of the main purposes. Uh, of the previous theorem, but this was proved before me by, uh, well, Ananievsky. And Neshitov in 2018. So the category of homotopy module is equivalent to the category of homotopy module with uh, Milnovit transfers. So just for now, I will not give the give you the definition of Milnovit transfers, uh, but in the second part, I will uh, explain more about transfers. But uh, just for this part, uh, just let me tell you that uh, there are some kind of new transfers that generalize uh, Wojewski transfers and. Uh, so you you can define a new category like this, and one of the so this was uh, defined by uh, Kalmes Fazal, and you would like to to prove that uh, this old category is equivalent to to this new one, and well, this is the case, and for the proof, well, the first proof by Anilski and Ashitov. Uh, I guess they they use frame transfer. So again, this is another kind of transfer that I, I will talk about uh, later. But um, you have a nice functor from homotopy modules with. Uh, so this is Milnovit transfers. And this is framed. So I will explain a bit more about this later. But just for now, uh, well, just to give you a, a rough idea of the proof, the, the proof, this equivalence between homotopy module with frame transfers and the classical homotopy module without transfers. And uh, then you can prove that this is an equivalence to. And while the proof number two is, uh, you can use the previous theorem that I, I proved before, and you can see that, uh, well, homotopy modules is equivalent to Milnovit cycle modules. And if you study, uh, well, Milnovit cycle module, you can see that uh, they have uh, automatic, uh, I mean, they have, um, it's easy to prove that they have uh, uh, Milnovit transfers. So again, this is an equivalence like this. And you can use the same proof for this equivalence to, to this one. So uh, this is 
well, another proof, if I may. I guess that the second, I mean, in the second equivalence, the second, yeah. Equivalence, yeah, yeah, this one is, I mean, it is probably more or less the same as degrees proved, right? His theorem. I mean, the statement at least is the same. Yeah, but uh, again, uh, well, this is a bit much more complicated because, uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, of this orientation on the stuff. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah that is, it. it is not, an, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Milner, Mil, Milner category is much more like Milner Witt category, so mm -hmm. it works a bit the same, yeah. Okay, may I ask you a couple yes. more questions? Uh, first question is, uh, uh, <sighs> How do you define that this uh, infinite loop space structure on uh, cycle modules? I mean, you, you say that you proved that cycle modules are the same as homotopy modules, and for homotopy modules you have this GM loop structure. Is it, is it easy to, to define it? Uh, this is because um, you you have long, long exact, exact sequence, and when you work with the uh, the cohomology, uh, well, you so basically you want to you want this kind of property. Like that, and this is you can use the the long exact sequence and the uh, a one invariance property to to have this kind of. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. So yeah. this is a bit technical, but uh, this is doable. Okay, yeah, thank you. And another question, when you talked about the pullbacks, yeah. uh, do you have pullbacks for cohomology with support? I mean, uh, in, in the discussion, I mean, in the sketch that you gave, you assumed Z to be smooth, and I guess it was crucial for these constructions. And I don't really, uh, for the Milner Vit cycle modules, I don't really need uh, smoothness uh, most of the time. I mean, uh, I, um, in the previous. Uh, yeah, but when you did this deformation to the normal cone, you used this, that Z is smooth. No? Yeah, but uh, here, uh, I mean, I, I don't, uh, yeah, for the theorem, I do, well, I do assume that X and Y are post schemes, but uh, yeah, this uh, there are no problems. Yeah, I mean, suppose that you are given with such a local complete inter intersection map, uh, x and y are smooth, and you have say some z in y, which is not smooth, and you can probably consider the cohomology with support on z. Yeah, the, this works. Yeah. Yeah, and everything works. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, for cycle modules, problem. the the, the the definition of um, when you work with uh, let's say homotopy shifts and you define moral define a Rust Schmidt uh, complex for homotopy shifts, uh, it works for smooth schemes and you have problems when you work with uh, non smooth schemes, but for cycle modules we do not have such problems because uh, uh, but well thanks to the co restriction maps. So basically, what you mean by uh, cohomology with support is just uh, cohomology. Uh... Yeah, OK. It's just just a part of the complex. And... Yeah. OK, thank you. And uh, so one last application. Uh, if I consider X, um, smooth projective, uh, integral scheme. Uh, then the cohomology in degree zero of X for any twist uh, 
Uh, this is a birational invariant. So in particular, Uh, this works for well, Chauvet groups in degree zero, and um, so do you mean Vx to be of rank? I mean, of Mm. Sorry, yeah. sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So this was not known for Chow bit groups or so for classical Chow groups. Uh, we know that uh, this, uh, the cohomology in degree zero uh, uh, defines a birational invariant, but for Chow bit groups, it was not known as far as I know. And uh, this is true for yes. any, yes. Sorry, is it a chow zero on the top or yeah. in the bottom? I mean, Just, is it zero cycles or the top? Okay. This is a, the, the degree zero. Uh... Okay, or? Mm. No, I'm a little bit confused. I mean, for the usual chow groups, uh, do you want to look at zero cycles or just the z which is the top i mean which is the zero chow group i mean the zero is dimensional or dimensional of cycles could have mentioned oh so um the idea is that uh well we know that this is true for chow groups and uh the what's good with chow bit groups is that we have this new kind of uh, quadratic forms and quadratic information uh, coming from uh, the Milnovich part, the quadratic part, uh, the vid part of the uh, uh, of the theory, and uh, so I do not have example yet, but I expect that uh, this refined uh, invariant maybe should uh, give Schopenhauer theorem in the future, and. Um, so obviously this is true for Miller uh, Miller bit modules, but so this this works too for uh, any homotopy modules, and uh, you have functors uh, if you want. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm still confused. So for for the Chow groups, uh, what is the statement for the Chow groups that you refer to? That uh, it should be a, a birational invariant. Yeah, but for the Chow group, this group is just just for zero. the uh, just for this group, this this group of X, the the zero, the the degree zero group. I mean, uh, the degree zero for Chow groups is just Z, right? I mean, it is generated by the fundamental cycle. Uh. Yeah, sure. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. So um, I, I, I'll I'll see this later. So maybe maybe this is. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You, you should put D there. Yeah, I, I will. I will see this later. Sorry, but yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. No for problem. All right. So in the second part. Uh, I would like to uh, speak about shifts. So in the first part, I, I had modules. And in the second, I would like to study shifts and most uh, mostly, uh, well, homotopy shifts and, uh, well, transfers. So.
so historically, we have a bunch of transfers. Uh, so for instance, we have Wojewski transfers, like I said before. Minlovit transfers. So this was defined during the last decade by Kalmes, uh, Fazel. Diglis. As well, and what others, and uh, also I mentioned frame transfers. So this was studied by Kakusha Panin, following and published note by Wojcicki. Um. So. I would like to study homotopy shares, and again, um, I would like some kind of uh, Milovit cycle modules, but for for shares. Um, well, Morel. So this was the theorem of, of Morel that said that um, we have an equivalence. So this is. Uh, Homotopy shifts of oh, okay. And well, we can uh, consider some functors define well, the, the category of uh, finitely generated field of oh, okay plus a bunch of axioms. So a bit like uh, cycle modules. And uh, so Morel proved that we have an equivalence. So just recall that if M is a homotopy module, a uh, homotopy shift, uh, and we can define the contraction like this. I think we, you know what I mean. Um, so again, uh, this is again a homotopy shift, and what's important is that. Uh, it has a structure of GW module. Uh, simply GW acts on, on GM, and so you have an action of, of on M minus one of a, a GW. And again, like before, we have maps, residue maps. Like before, so I can you can twist. So I would like to study uh, a new kind of transfers that uh, some of you knows, um, what I call bas state transfers. So this was studied by Morel uh, in his book. Um, this was this is sometimes called um, cohomological transfers or um, geometrical transfers or sometimes A1 transfers, depending on your definition. So 
let me just recall the definition. If n is a homotopy shift and a a field, we have a short exact sequence. So this is because m is a, a one invariant. So we do need the contraction here. So with some twist, I will not uh, speak about twist again, but well, the idea is that uh, if you consider a finite monogenic extension, Uh, then you want to define uh, transfer maps from EX plus some twist to A minus one of E plus some twist. And in order to do this, well, you can choose an element. So, a generator X defines a, a point of codimension one, and you can choose a, an element in the inverse image uh, to some kind of, uh, because this map is subjective. And then you have an element here and you, pull, you push it back to M minus one E thanks to the valuation at infinity. And we had, we, we had a minus one for some convention because we, we would like some uh, reciprocity coverage, uh, reciprocity formula for curves. And well, this is what I call transfers uh, of X by definition. So this is what I call by state transfers of this uh, monogenic extension. Obviously, um, if you consider a finite extension over E, then by induction. So we have a sequence of subfields. like this and we define the transfer the by state transfer of the these extensions by induction So this is exactly the, what you can imagine. And um, I call it the Bastet transfers because this is the same definition that Bastet uh, gave for the transfers on uh, Milner theory. Um, and then the problem is that you would like to prove that this uh, is well-defined. So we want some functionality. 
and this is known as a conjecture of morale. So again, M is a homotopy shift, and you consider a finite extension. Like this. Um, so the map which should depend on the on a choice of genetic system X1, XR. Well we conjecture that it does not depend. on the choice of uh, x1, xr. So this was conjectured by Bassetate for the Milner K3 in the 70s. And uh, already for Milner K3, this was highly non-trivial and it was proved only much, much later by, by Cato in the 80s with a very, uh, technical proof. So we would like a similar result, but for any homotopy shifts, I mean, any contraction of a homotopy shift. So this is a map from M minus one of F plus a twist to M minus one of, of E. So, We have some results for this uh, conjecture. So Morel proved that this was true for any twofold contraction. So from M minus two of F twisted A minus two of E. So Morel proof is uh, a bit technical also, and he works with the cohomology in degree two uh, of the projective line, and uh, you can do a bunch of computation and uh, prove that this does not depend on any choice of uh, generators. And uh, well, I would like to, to prove this, this conjecture in full generality, but uh, well, this is uh, not trivial. So I can present you some results that have for now. Um, the conjecture is true. For any fields, If uh, it is true for a subclass of fields, so basically, uh, I don't want to go too much into details, but P primary fields is. Uh, a field is said to be P primary if it has no non-trivial uh, finite extension prime to P. And um, if you prove the conjecture for such class subclass of fields, then it should be true for uh, any fields. Uh, the basic AD, if you want to prove this, is to use uh, what I call the Bedou theorem. So just remember you know, um, some arithmetic who if you consider n a natural number uh, and uh, 
P, P prime, co prime numbers, co prime. Dividing n then n should be should be one. So we have some similar result but for quadratic forms and uh, that's how you can prove that such uh, result. Uh, another case for the uh, conjecture of Morel is when m is a homotopy shift with Milovit transfers. And finally, uh, I proved that uh, the conjecture of Morel is true uh, for rational coefficient so basically if you consider m a homotopy shift you can tensor by by q and you leave out any torsion and in this case it's uh, the contraction has uh, bus state transfers. So, um, if you want to prove this, uh, a kilema just to explain why uh, I turn so by Q. I give you a a little lemma for Milner theory. So if you consider a Milner theory of a field uh, of a monogenic extension, so this, so, Uh, EX is a finite monogenic. Uh, then we have the restriction map, which is, well, for Milner category, this is just the most natural map. You consider a Galois symbol and you set it to, to its image. And uh, in this case, uh, we can prove that uh, this map is injective. And well, for the proof, this is known as uh, restriction restriction tricks or something like that. Uh, if you consider an element that is uh, killed by the map, then you can set it back. So this is zero in the bigger group. You can set it back to the lower group thanks to the transfers. So the transfer map may depend on a choice of generator, but um, in this case, this is just zero. And uh, we can prove that, so we have an action, so this is just one, and we can prove that we have a projection formula. So in this case, this means that um, the transfer of one kills uh, Uh, alpha, sorry. And since we have, uh, well, uh, tensor by Q, we do not have any torsion, so thus uh, alpha is zero. 
All right. Okay, so in this second part, I've talked about voice uh, transfers, mean lobby transfers, frame transfers, bus state transfers. And so basically, we have a bunch of transfers, and I would like uh, some kind of a theory that should uh, encompass uh, everything. So this is what I call uh, homotopy shift with uh, generalized transfers. So my first definition was tried by, so let me write the definition. So if you consider a homotopy shift, uh, so first we need um, a structure of GW module. Because I want to twist uh, things. And most important, uh, I want um, for any finite field extension. So maps, so I want one functorial maps. Plus some maximum. I mean, I want more maps than this, but you get the ideas. So again, so this uh, kind of definition was uh, so Morel gives a similar definition, but uh, a bit different. Uh, so basically, this is some kind of effective counterpart of uh, uh, Milnovich cycle modules, uh, because well, like I said, um, and uh, it, is equivalent to some kind of functor defined on the category of fields, so what we call uh, unramified data. And so this is a functor, so we have uh, uh, restriction maps, we have pullbacks. Um, la, uh, in this case, uh, we assume that we have transfers. So we have the co restriction maps. I assume that we have a GW action, so this is like the k mil novit uh, action. And um, finally, we, we know that we have residue maps, like I said before. So basically, this is just like uh, mil novit cycle modules, but for homotopy shifts. Um, so for instance, so again, the axioms means that uh, the four kind of different data are well compatible with uh, one another. And most importantly, I want the maps to be functorial. So like, uh, like we see for bus state transfers, this is highly non-trivial to have some kind of uh, functorality. But well, for instance, GW uh, defines a homotopy shift with uh, generalized transfers or more generally for any uh, mean of it K theory in degree n. Uh, and like I said, so I would like to prove that uh, n minus one has Bastet transfers, so functorial Bastet transfers. So for now, I don't know if it is true, but I just know that it is true for m minus two, or if I transfer by q, for instance. So in this case, these two are have a, do have a, a structure of general transfers. Here M is a homotopy shift. So again, I would like to, to study such category. 
you know, to compare it with uh, homotopy sheaves. And um, I would like to uh, to have some kind of a well well known theory about transfers. So you can prove that, uh, in fact, this new kind of transfers, well, uh, they are well known in some sense, because we we have an equivalence. So from the category of homotopy sheaves over K with generalized transfers to the category of homotopy sheaves with mean orbit transfers. So if you consider M such sheaf. So again, you can define uh, a Rushmid complex. So Morel did that for general homotopy sheaves. But uh, in this case, since we have uh, generalized transfers, uh, then you can easily prove that uh, the Rushbit complex for uh, a homotopy shift with transfers is indeed a complex. This is not uh, obvious at all. And also, you have uh, push forward maps, etc. And uh, again, you can define so the, the cohomology in degree zero of this uh, this new uh, this new shift and again this is a bit ugly but you do need to to twist but this is just notation and this define an equivalence of category between so the the middle of it transfers and the general transfers so just to summarize everything, we have a commutative square like this. So let me draw you something nice. So in the beginning of the talk, uh, I said that we have homotopy modules with uh, without transfers over K. And uh, here we have homotopy modules uh, with mean Lovett transfers with some functors. On the on the left we have homotopy module homotopy shields, sorry. And uh, we have homotopy shields with Milnovit transfers. And again, we have an adjunction like this, like that, um, and functors. like this and um, so what we saw before in the first part that uh, we have an equivalence of categories uh, on the on the right uh, and we have a description thanks to uh, Milnovich cycle modules of this part of the diagram and on the left uh, well I wanted to, to to study this uh, this part of the diagram. So uh, we have a functor that simply forgets that we have Milnovich transfers, and I wanted to, to study this. Um, first of all, it cannot be a, um, an equivalence because you can prove that there are some shifts, homotopy shifts that do not have uh, transfers. But uh, well, and also um, you can prove that it cannot be full. This functor cannot be four. Um, 
but still, well, I uh, wanted to study its Im essential image in this category. So basically, just to summarize everything, this is what I did with um, the uh, uh, generalized transfers. So if you consider M a homotopy shift, then the following assertion Um, are equivalent. So first of all, there exists some M such that um, M is the contraction of uh, M, M minus one. Sorry, uh, we do need to assume that such that moral conjecture is true. Also, uh, this is the same that uh, M in the uh, twofold contraction of a homotopy shift. So this part was conjectured by Morel uh, in 2011. And this is the same to, to say that M has a structure of generalized transfers. Um, Milnovich transfer. And frame transfers. So basically, um, basically, uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I just want to ask you, can you please draw the easy implications? Um, oh, there are no such ones here. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is not, uh, I mean, it depends on what you mean by by obvious, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, you cannot. Uh, yeah, so for instance, you have an obvious functor from uh, Milnovich uh, Milnovich transfers to frame transfers, uh, thing from general transfers to Milnovich transfer. Then, um, but there there are some work to do. Uh, uh, so, for instance, so I should say that this equivalence uh, is not really by by me. Uh, in my paper, I cite uh, two papers of Barman. If you put together two uh, two theorem of Barman's, you can see that this is true. Uh, but also, last week I've read again the work of uh, Ananiski and Ashitov, and I guess they knew the result. You tell me. Um, so this is not really uh, from me. And uh, this equivalence is from the previous theorem. And obviously, uh, according to the work uh, I, just, uh, I just did for best state transfers, uh, we should also have uh, this equivalence uh, providing that more conjecture holds. Uh, but so for now, we, do not, we just have this result 
uh, which is basically the um, um, the consolation theorem for Milnovich transfers, if you want. All right. So I guess it's been almost two hours, so I should maybe stop here. And uh, well, if you have any question, I would be happy to answer them. Yeah, thank you very much for your interesting talk. So, yeah, first I just wanted to comment on that uh, variation and variance that uh, I asked you. Of course, uh, the statement that you said is that you stated is, I guess, also valid. But for Chow groups, I think the interesting part is for zero cycles, which is a kind of non obvious. Okay, yeah. yeah. For zero cycle, yeah, the, the zero cycles for smooth projective guys are variational and variant. And it is usually proved. I mean, if, if you have, say, strong factorization or something like that, then it is easy because you just look at the motive and you see that yeah, all the additional guys don't, do not touch this zero cycles. Yeah, so I guess my first question is, uh, do you have somehow this bi-rational invariance for uh, Chow V to zero cycles? Or is it, yeah, can you say anything about it? I don't think so. Uh... Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't think so. Uh, I will. I will work on that, but uh, I have to to check again. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. The another question was about. I mean, which is related to the last part. Uh, can you say a couple of words on this conservativity stuff for suspension? I mean, we, which is by Bachman and Jakerson, and it is close closely related to the stuff that you. Talked about. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, um, so there, there is this conjecture of Barman and Yakasson uh, two, three years ago uh, about a conservatory of some functor uh, which should look. like that. So we have so the conjecture. So this is uh, one man. Like a conjecture. So for D greater than one, we'd like to prove that this functor is conservative. And uh, so when I say conservative, I mean, it preserves uh, axomorphisms. And um, so Bauman proved that, uh, well, he said that it is folklore, so I don't know. Um, you have a t-structure on both, and basically you can reduce the theorem to uh, to prove an equivalence uh, of the uh, heart hearts of these two uh, two categories. And uh, well, I can say that um, so in two thousand eighteen, this was conjectured by. By Barney Jackson, so it holds um, for D greater than two and characteristic zero. Uh, I must say that uh, in this part, um, maybe I should assume that K is of characteristic non uh, different from two, and maybe infinite also, but. Uh, 
yeah, this is not really uh, interesting. Um, sorry, characteristic. of k is zero. So this is Barman de Carson in 2018. Uh, then this was improved last, last July by Barman for d greater than, sorry, than three. Um, He proved a, a bunch of uh, sufficient condition. And uh, if you look at uh, the work I did for generate transfers and uh, uh, bas state transfers, then you can prove that, uh, well, it holds for D greater than two. Uh, well, I proved that, I mean, this is just a consequence of what Bauman did. And uh, also, uh, or if, uh, if moral conjecture holds. So this should be true. Uh, so if moral conjecture is true, then it implies uh, Bauman and Jacobson conjecture. So in particular, since, uh, like I said before, this is true for, for degrees than two, or for instance, it is true for rational coefficients, then you have uh, particular cases of this conjecture uh, in this case. <clears throat> 